All right, this works. Awesome. Could you build a gyro stabilizer for the nest? Uh, I can only make kind of simple things, like flow capsules. Hold on, let me show you. Just take a bit of rust and... And here it is, a brand new capsule. Just need to activate it during combat in order to use it. Oh, so no gyro stabilizer then? Uh, I'm sorry. No, no need to be sorry. No worries. This is good. I mean, this is great. Really great. Uh, if you could just explain to me what the flow capsules do when you get a chance. Because I miss that part. Up all night doing experiments again? I hope you're not developing a habit. A habit of scientific experimentation? No, that would be a shame. <sighs> okay. Okay, what have you found out this time? Well, I was wondering, if flow can be condensed to produce this rust, maybe we could achieve the opposite reaction and sublimate the rust to restore flow to its fluctuating state. Useful flow, in short. Oh yeah, that could definitely come in handy. So? Well, nope, we can't. The amount of energy that is necessary to pass from one state to the other is gigantic. Much larger than what the flow could provide. Ah, oh, some. That's how science progresses you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I will achieve scientific progress in the bathroom. May the best of us win. The apple brew is ready! So what are we waiting for? That's a whole lot better than KinoVision, isn't it? You're right. But I still find it a little uneventful. That's harsh. When the sun just disappeared beyond the horizon, that was quite a twist. <laughs> Do you think the sun will rise tomorrow? Or is the world going to descend in darkness? A real cliffhanger. Mm, pass me the bottle instead of talking blute. I think it's empty. Ugh, oh, blute. Hmm. I still can't believe we made it. Well, it wasn't a big bottle or anything. I meant we made it here, on Source. <laughs> yeah, the odds weren't in our favor. Hmm. You mean you would have bet against yourself? Considering the general condition of the ship? The meshing of the patrols, and the distance we had to go? Definitely. So, why did you agree to follow me here? Because you asked me to. What? Did I say something wrong? No, no. Hmm. Is your chair comfortable? Why? Mine is a bit big, just for myself. Come sit. Hmm. Do you regret it? What? Following me? Why would I regret that? Just look at this sky. Look at us. What is there to regret? I don't know. The people? Don't you miss that? Seeing people? Honestly? No. I did have friends and colleagues. When we left the apiary, at first... I thought I would miss them. I thought that after a while I would feel a void. I need to see them again. But that hasn't happened yet. Actually, I consider myself pretty lucky to have you. 
Asking for more would seem egotistical or ungrateful. Anyway, I don't think I should be telling you these things, or else you'll end up realizing that I don't deserve you. Do you really think that? I don't know. A little bit? <sighs> I find that comforting. Because I'm thinking that too, all the time. <laughs> that I don't deserve you? No, idiot. That I don't deserve you. Would you look at us, not deserving one another? You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. Do you have any idea what time it is? The sun was still high when we went to sleep, so I would say early afternoon? No, I mean the real time. Like, the apiary's time. <laughs> then no. Don't you want to know? Not really. Time in the apiary only makes sense on apiary planets. The night and day cycles are a lot shorter here. I know that, but I like to take a look at the time before I go to sleep. That way, when I wake up, I can look at the time and tell whether or not I slept well. Can't you just go by whether or not you feel rested? That's not the same. You don't get it. It's psychological. But how long do you need to sleep? Eight hours, ten minutes. Okay, so let's say it's 11 p.m., so tomorrow morning I'll set the nest clock at 7 a.m. Does that work? 7.10. And yes, that works. Thanks. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Make sure they don't get squished. I got a big one.
it smelled good around here. We almost missed this one. Ready? Go, go, go! Oh, come on! Cover me! Uh -huh. Are you okay? Target left. You go, girl! You're safe! Nice! Got it! You know what to do? Yep! Take cover! You got this? You bet I do! Great job! You're welcome! One left. <clears throat> oh no, you. Are you all right? Oh, cover me. Oot. Oh, no, no. I got your back. Sweet. <clears throat> I don't like this. Let's get it over with. And done. One down. Done and done. This might be a good time to test the capsules that we put together. First, you'll have to explain to me how they work. It's easy. First, you load up the capsule with flow. Then, you just need to activate it. One's ready. I'm on it. Shielding. Perfect. Are you okay? Bye bye. This one's tough. Maybe try something else. Shield up. Oh, boot. Your turn. Cover me. something. I'll keep them at bay. See you around. One left. Now what? <gasps> you! Ready when you are. All set. Booyah! You know what to do. Yep. This one's ready. I got this. Now shoot. That was easy! You know, technically the Zygoptera aren't quite the same as dragonflies. More like, they're cousins. Have you been mulling this over the whole time? I was trying to rein it in, lest I would sound too... nerdy. But I guess you can't fight your true self. Voila!
here or to go? To go. Too bad. I really like this smell. It's almost like freshly cut grass, except it isn't cut. So just grass. I guess. Stop pestering him. Come on, it's just a bit of fun.
Yang. some flow hiding underneath. Yeah. Weird. It looks like a flow bridge that's begging to pop out. Hmm. 
Like a budding flow bridge? Perhaps. If we wait long enough. Or we could come back later. Fine with me. Or else? Oh! It's like that! What the bloot? How did you know that we were here? Are you out of your mind? Uh, come on, let's bounce. Attempted escape notified. Self defense mode activated. Self defense? Seriously? Careful! Oh no you don't! You stay away! Uh -oh. no. uh. ah. I won't be able to- In your face! Want some more of that? I protect! You I'm taking- ah. Got him! isn't much use anymore! No! One hornet down! You go first! No! You go first! There's no time to waste! Whatever you want! Now? I think he's bugging out! Careful! He's rebooting! I think he's bugging out. Got your back. Nice volley. Nice serve. Got it. I don't think this is working. Move up. Don't move. Ah! Overload. That's it! Looks like this is working! Now you! You stop! I saw some sparks! I think he did too! My shield is out! Got it! I think he's bugging out! No mercy for hornets! My shield is out! You got it! Short circuit! Ready to block! That's ah! Loot! You go ahead! He's losing his balance! After you! Ready? Same as usual? We're doing good! Let's keep it up! I'll handle it! I stop him! No! Should've left her alone! If that didn't fry the motherboard... He's losing his balance! Nice volley! Nice serve! I've stunned him! Ah! Over 
overload. Hornet goes down. I never thought we'd make it through. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. Don't worry. We fried their circuits. They're not going to come back online on their own. <sighs> okay. This is definitely the apiary signature. And they seem to be receiving orders from somewhere nearby. What? That would mean that there's someone else on Source. No, no. I think there's some kind of relay antenna. I would assume that the orders are coming from top. But there's one thing I still don't understand. How could they know that we were here? You think it could have been because of the charging station? Loot! That had to be it. Oh, I feel like such a boron. Hey, we had no idea that they would send out Hornet drones to get us. Oh. So it won't get easier, will it? <sighs> Unlikely. We're gonna need some help. From who? There's no one else on this planet, Kay. You said that the Hornets are receiving orders from the apiary by way of an antenna nearby. Perhaps we could use it to get in touch with the apiary. If there is a relay antenna, there must be a communications post, a vid chat, or something of the sort. And who would you call? No, not her. Do you know of anyone else who might have an inside track on the Council's decisions and who we can trust? Trust? Didn't you see all the Exanova logos everywhere? That's her company. She's clearly knee-deep in this business. She's also your mother. Yeah, well, she's clearly not the most upstanding of the two. We don't need upstanding. We need information. Look, hopefully, she can convey our side to the Council. Convince them to call off the Hornets. <sighs> okay. I'll add the coordinates to the radar. But just so you know, I do not condone this idea. Rust is starting to feel heavy. Flow burst. Wow, what a mess. Just our luck. The stumble upon a landfill. Unless it's some kind of hoarder's house. Who could live in such a place? There's barely enough room to stand. can't possibly. You, where are you going? I'm just looking. It's gonna collapse on you. No way. It's actually pretty so- ah! Bloot, get out of there. Ah! I'm stuck. Pull my feet. Hold on. Thank you. All right, just say it. You told me so. Later. Let's get out of here before the domino effect.
world. on a shortcut.
Whoa, I need a break. Huh? Are you okay? I've never seen you shy away from finishing a plate. Bit hyperbolic. Ah, uh, it tastes bad, doesn't it? No, it's really good. It's just, when you said you were making a salad, I wasn't expecting this. This is actually really, really fatty. Well, of course there's boba nut in it. There's gotta be a way to soak up a bit of the fat, you know? But it's supposed to be fatty. Can't you try it another way? Maybe by trimming the fat off the boba nut? This is the best way to make it. As a teenager in the foster home, boba salad was my go-to dish. Cheap, nutritious, easy prep. It's the perfect dorm food. I've tried every combination you can think of, and I can tell you that this is the best. Have you considered the fact your palate might have changed since you were a teen? As well as your metabolism. I'm not sure you need this much fat in your diet. You're probably right. I'll try trimming the fat off the nuts next time. Thank you. <sighs> so, want to do anything? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Want to go outside? Do you? Eh, thought so. We could play a game. Uh, I don't really feel like it right now. Hmm. <laughs> Too bad there's nothing we can watch. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Or we could just do nothing. Yeah, nothing sounds nice. The apple brew should be ready by now. Looks like it is. There's an uprising in the apiary. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The remaining able-bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. I redirect to the matchmaker. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They were in favor of unseating the council, but they still believe the matchmaker is the only defense against the mark. Borons. They are wanting to split up. They head for the council. I forbid them. We need to present a united front if we intend to achieve anything. They hesitate for a moment, but they don't want to risk an internal conflict. So they choose to follow you, but cautiously. The revolutionary mass is very menacing, but internal tensions are still palpable. You finally arrive in front of the matchmaker's server room. But as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of hornet drones who are hiding inside. Blute! The hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. We press on! Press on! You shout your order, but your voice is drowned out by other shouts. Other self-proclaimed leaders seem to want to take the lead. Integrating the seceded group seems to have heightened the divisions. No one is paying attention to you any longer, nor are they paying attention to anyone else. The Hornets take advantage of the chaos to zoom through your ranks, neutralizing anyone within reach. You feel the end coming. The revolution has been stifled! Suddenly, Right under your feet, a trap door opens. You see Kay signaling for you to come down. I follow him. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatial port where the nest is awaiting you, ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. Kay takes your hand to lead you in.
I press his body against mine. After being routed by the hornets, the warmth of his body feels very comforting. Kay lays his hands below your hips and presses his lips against yours. I grab his butt. You slip your hands in the back of his pants and dig your nails into the flesh of his buttocks. Huh? You feel them tightening with surprise. Kay puts his hand behind your neck and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of his saliva, the smell of his sweat. I let him have his way. Kay's lips slide along your cheek. His hand slides along your spine. You can feel his penis rubbing on your stomach. And as Kay sinks his teeth into your neck. Okay, stop. Stop talking. Show me. there is, in fact, a station on Lanaro. What would you say to my mom? Well, first off, I would ask for explanations about Source, but also about this whole Hornets business. I'm sure the council has more important things to do than worry about two boring escapees. <laughs> Can you imagine the cost of such an operation? Just for us? It must be a misunderstanding. Considering her ties to the council, she could probably clear it up. <sighs> What if there is no misunderstanding? Then we're in deep loot. Lights off? Yeah. Maybe the Hornets will have a harder time finding us in the dark. That's not funny. I wasn't trying to be funny. I'm sorry to be a downer, but I can't stop thinking about what they would do if they caught us. The Hornets? No. The Hornets will just neutralize us. I meant the apiary. They'll split us apart. Match us with our respective mates. And how will they achieve that? By force? Have you ever seen anyone fight back during their matching ceremony? We can't be the only ones who've refused our mates, can we? What do you mean? Have you ever heard about recalibrating? Oh no, not this old wives' tale about brainwashing. I never said it was brainwashing. Just erasing selected bits of memory. Do you really believe in that stuff? Why not? It's technically possible. I mean, it is conceivable, isn't it? Don't they erase some memories in trauma therapy? Why wouldn't the council apply that to other uses? Such as? Well, for instance, they could erase the memories we have of each other. That way, we'd be a lot more amenable to the matchmaking process. <sighs> In trauma therapy, they erase very specific, very short memories of events. I don't think you could erase all of the memories of one person that way. That would erase entire years in a person's life. And do you think we're technically unable to, or morally unwilling to? Uh, I was trying to get some sleep, you. Well, too bad. There's no reason I should be the only sleepless one. <laughs> 